a symptom of a disease. I think that we should really rejuvenate the facilitation working group and in fact require that every working group has a member of that so we can keep developing this and keep training going with everyone about what the true consensus means. Thank you. We don't have a facilitation working group yet. Um, so, well, not to be rude or anything, but can we just, like, get on with it real quick? Yeah. 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 Okay, so, we're, we've gone through the discussion portion. Uh, Jane, we can call the question, have you adopted any of the friendly amendments that were suggested for calling the question? Uh, I heard conflicting friendly amendments, one being 80%, one being 96%, and uh, for and then also complicating the beginning, the quorum. I feel that right now we should keep this as a first guideline, and then we can continue to refine the process, because only by doing it do we see what's wrong with it. And the problem that we put ourselves into in the very beginning with Occupy SF is we didn't pass this sooner and then it kept perpetuating that same problem. That one block kept on blocking the modified consensus. You, you see? And then, it, and then we killed ourselves in that way. That is what, this is a very central issue that that is precisely why what happened on Thursday happened. Uh, well, you, you left out the center. We have to have a way of excluding people that include drugs and violence and all these things that come over. Right, so the censure about excluding drugs and violence, that can be an extra thing. This is, not, it, this is about the process of passing a proposal. No, I was just bringing it up because okay. it was done. We can add that to the agenda. Okay, but those are more processes that need to be instituted that so badly weren't instituted in our GAs before. And that's what led to the degradation of GAs. It was the absence of process. It was the inability to get us to this point. Okay, so so we'd like to call, call the question. Could you restate the question? The question is, um, the question Ugh. is, do we have consensus on this proposal? Um, are there any further clarifying questions before we call this question? Sandra, do you have a clarifying question? Okay. Um, we, again, we, yes. This is Occupy Bay Area United General Assembly Formation Meeting. Assembly. <laughs> um, my question is, what process are we using to pass this proposal? Because this proposal is not well, a good since, um, since there is no foundation here um, for what the process is, uh, that would fall to the facilitator. So um, it's a 90 90% modified consensus. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Just let's see. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. call the question because first. Because we want to see what the blocks are and try to work with them. Point of process. Did, did we not agree yes, consensus generally on modified consensus on Thursday? Yes. yes. Well, we, we, we did, did decide. decide. Why did you come if you're you not can, part of If, if you don't party. know what group you're in, or you have so questions so about who we are, I would suggest that you not um, involve yourself it's in the consensus fun. process. And then you you can get the full information after. But we already had an hour of a meeting deciding who we are. No, we we uh, we had a we had a meeting we had a general assembly on Thursday night after the OSF general assembly. We adopted a mission statement that we are a nonviolent direct action movement. 
And we adopted our name, Occupy Bay Area United. That is provisional until today. Provisionally. Until today. Uh, we talked about what agenda items to address first, Magic, and we decided on this one. So we, you just were here. We did it just a few minutes before you got here. We already addressed it. You I didn't make it enough. We don't know what your part is. Okay, uh, we are calling the question. It is you. It is up to you whether you want to participate or not. We are Occupy Bay Area United. Our mission statement is a nonviolent direct action movement. We started with modified consensus as a proposal because it is a foundation for the rest of the General Assembly. The proposal has been handed out. We've had the discussion. Uh, we're going to take consensus. We'll start out by asking if... Wait, one thing, we decided also, also we decided through the discussion that we were having earlier that there was a lot of discussion about the process and that we were going to adopt some sort of modified consensus process. The point for this group is to have some sort of modified consensus process. Yes. That was adopted on Thursday night that we would have a modified consensus, the details to be worked out. So, do we have any stand aside on this proposal? We have one stand aside, two stand aside, three stand aside. Do we, four stand aside, four stand aside. Do we, okay. Do we have, we will hear the concerns of the stand aside. Um, we'll, first, we'll also call, do we have any blocks? No blocks. Okay, wait, but can we hear the stand aside? Now we will hear the concerns of the stand aside. Uh, first stand aside is, Magic? Well, I, I, first of all, I want to say, that wasn't a separate group, this isn't a separate group. None of the separate has been decided. There's no intention of separate. Um, the only reason I'm standing aside, and I feel that we're trying to move towards being a group again for 90% consensus, is that I would like to agree to this once we agree that we're Occupy SF again, which seems to be happening later. So I don't want to block it, I want us to be together, and that's why I'm here, and that's why I've always been with this group, so we can find a way to have a process that works. Point of information on the agenda is re-merging with Occupy SF, if Occupy SF adopts the principles that this group is also adopting. Um, so next stand aside. Kiwon? Or Ted? I don't know at this point if I should be in this group, so I don't feel like I should be, be voting. So. Okay. Next, stand aside. Are you canceled? Yeah. Okay, there's five seats. Yeah. Are they clear that they don't care? Yeah. yeah. You know, I, we've come this far as I'm like, this is so, um, you know, we may want to change our name or something. I don't think that's wise at all. We're the same movement. We have the same ideal. I don't think we at all disagree on ideals. We uh, disagree on strategy and tactics. I think we've got to move forward and struggle that through. That's why I'm sitting here and why I was over there. To me, this is the same movement. And, and whatever whatever this movement decides is going to it's going to fit it best, I'm going to do that. But I'm really, I think it's very counterproductive to start changing our name over something that isn't a disagreement on our, our ideal. The question was not, should we have this meeting? The question was, what, what uh, do you stand aside on the proposal at hand for modified consensus? Uh, but we appreciate your comments and your feelings of unity. P1, what's the stand aside? Can everyone hear me? Yeah. 
I think there's a way of structuring modified consensus that is, um, that is um, effective. I think the way that this is written uh, reads more like a 90% majority vote because if someone expresses uh, a concern, uh, there is no mechanism for that concern to be integrated. There is no threshold for modifying the proposal to address that concern before it's passed if there are no blocks. Well, my friendly amendment would be that if there are stand asides and blocks, the proposals must be modified in some way to attempt to address those concerns. You don't have to uh, attempt to address those concerns before you just brought for a consensus uh, check. Okay. Um, Jane, will you ex do you want to accept that friendly amendment and we repropose the question? Uh, so. No. So basically, uh, the friendly amendment was that there is a provision in there that after the concerns are heard, we hear a friendly amendment and attempt to incorporate it. Uh, I would say that that could be a further GA proposal. So we can again, we can again propose to do that in a future proposal. Does that make sense? So you can then propose that, as it said, stated above, it says that we can keep refining the process. That's a refinement of the process. If that, my amendment is not integrated, I would not be able to block or stand aside. I'm just saying. Okay, can we have a temperature check on proposing the question with the friendly amendment? I have a clarifying question now. Are you going to temperature check on his amendment right yeah. now? I have a temperature, I have a clarifying question. Okay, clear. I don't think people are even understanding what's going on right clarifying now. Clarifying question. Thank you. Say it again then. Um, when Jane restated what you said, to me she said something different than what you said. What you said is that the proposal has to be altered. I don't like that. Don't but like when Jane restated it, if, it, if you're saying that we have to try to work with the person and try to see if there's a way we can all find common ground. Well, yeah, I said that myself when we were talking about this in the discussion period. So I'm also going to voice a concern about, um, you know, when people were asking for fun, friendly amendments, how come you didn't speak up then? Um, and finally, I'd like to say that if people are going to non-consensually tell us that we're part of the same group uh, and that, that we have to go along with that, well then I declare that this group is called the Republican Party and you're all members of the Republican Party because I said so. That makes just okay, as much sense. Well, we're in a process. This is not about feeling. We're trying to get to address a modified consensus proposal here. Um, I'd just like to say that I actually wrote in and forgot to mention a very similar amendment to Kiwan that just says at the point where it says blockers say the reasons for their position, period, they must state the reason, otherwise the block is deemed invalid, and I wrote, and state a friendly amendment. Would you accept that? Yes, and state a friendly amendment, if any. Yeah. So, you're willing to accept that? I, think I that's am willing to accept that. Wait. What? I what? think we have enough right there to go ahead right now and, and amend it because you've got two processes. The first one has this input where we do try to work together. The second one is where right. we institute. Okay, so uh, I will add that. It will now say friendly amendments offered if any. Oh, sorry. The block is deemed valid and friendly amendments can be offered if any. Point of process? Who is the point of process? Yes? Okay, thank you. Um, we have next on stack is Mark. Mark and Hannah with their stand aside. Let me see if I can talk like this. Um, I've been around the block and consensus groups for quite a while, both modified and full consensus. I think it's a really bad idea to get stuck on a procedural measure and then within a handful of days craft a new group with a new process. There's folks who spend a lot of time working through consensus, and it requires the toolkit to use. Once you set a process in place, the process is incumbent, and it's really hard to change it. I would really urge before you submit down the process, talk to Starhawk, talk to folks that do this stuff, to really try to figure out the problems you had in the old GA, what 
that led to this problem, how much of that you should use to try and craft a new procedure process, and then try and figure out something that's actually going to get us where we want to go. Because if you don't, you'll have the same problem we have the OTA. It'll just happen at a different time through the new process. It's something we're always game for. Point of information. We have been doing what Mark said for a month. That's how we came up with this proposal. Um, Next, stand aside, Hannah. Okay, um, I'm standing aside just because, I mean, I think it's a really good proposal because we need a proposal like it, but I'm just worried about the consensus part, and I think that needs to be figured out ASAP for other proposals, obviously, so we need that to get passed, so, um, I mean, that's why I'm not blocking or anything, but, yeah, and next we have Mike Newton. Uh, well, one thing to the stand so I have, I have one idea. What if we were to pass this just for, for this meeting or for, for a yeah. temporary period of time so we can get other things done yeah. with an agreement to form a group to discuss it? Just no. throwing that idea out there. Secondly, I want to, slightly unrelated, I want to make clear just because a couple of people I think don't understand. <laughs> Speaking for myself, strictly for myself, I believe for a few others, but I can only speak for myself. What happened here was not an impetuous process. This was people who had quit. I made the decision to quit OSF. I cannot ethically be with Occupy San Francisco anymore. I believe in my heart that other people who did this feel the same way, and we went on to do something constructive instead of just going home like a lot of the other people who quit did, just so people are aware of what happened. This wasn't like, let's split into two groups. This was, for me personally, this was, I'm done with that. I'm out. And then, and I also was the one who proposed the, on the agenda later on that we discussed. Let's get back to the, to the consensus okay. on the modified consensus. Okay. Um, is there anyone else on staff who is a stand aside? Carlos was not on. No. Okay. Then we're calling the question. Do we have. Okay. So there were no blocks. Uh, do we have any stand asides on the amended modified consensus proposal? Just a very brief stand aside. I think we should write in with that if we're going to have ongoing uh, either a facilitator. Uh, okay, that's already These guidelines can be further revised and refined. Okay, so do we have any blocks on the modified uh, and amended, the amended modified consensus proposal? Any blocks? Any blocks? Okay, we have consensus. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Thank you, Jane. Let's move on to the next agenda item. Name. Name of the group. Oh, name. We already confirmed on that. Let's move uh, on we, to it the was next provisional. Item. No, it was oh, provisional. So it's, it's a can of worms. It's a can of worms, but that's okay. A lot of and people are asking about that. I got a lot of questions about that. Okay. okay. The next the agenda day. item, unfortunately, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> the name. <laughs> We, uh, the, the, uh, at our first General Assembly on Thursday night, we provisionally came up with the name Occupy Bay Area United, but we left it open for modification. So let's take stock there, I... on um, yeah. concerns with the name. Concerns with the name. Please get on stack. Yes? Uh, I think it would be uh, more sensible to uh, approach the uh, question of whether this group is going to rejoin or not. Because if we rejoin, then this is occupied. So we don't need to. to, to uh, okay. Yeah. That. Temperature check on moving the item of the agenda on the provisions for re merging and no, adopting okay. that agenda item now. Okay, it looks like we have. A strong support for addressing that item now. So let's take stock. What's the proposal? Yeah. Uh, the proposal, you have it, right? Yes. Where's the trigger? Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is a fucking farce. You all know it. Actually, I know not. I propose that we change Rob's name. Suggestions? Um, <laughs> that's it. we got to split you into two now. All right, listen, I don't want to waste time. I, 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 this was my proposal. My feeling is this, that when we split Thursday, those of us who were there did it for two reasons. Frustration with the dead block in the process, and we wanted to address that, and two, definitively and unequivocally, 
distancing ourselves and establishing ourselves as non-violent direct action movements. My feeling is, those are our, as our new group's goals, those were consensed on. This needs to be written down. Uh, I think it, we got it, this. It is, this is, I'm, just, I'm just relating what happened already. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. my feeling is, is if those, those are our main, those are our, 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 our two big tent poles right there. My feeling is, is if Occupy SF were to unequivocally, as a group, also establish those goals in harmony with that, then it is a moot point for us to have two separate groups. And that if that should happen, we should have a proposal to disband, remerge, whatever you want to call it. If that should happen, unequivocally, and to the satisfaction of everybody who was dissatisfied or is dissatisfied. Okay. That's my proposal. Let's take stack. Let's take stack on the remerge uh, provisional. The provisions for remerging. Wait, did you actually read what was on your thing? The proposal. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't take We're taking first stack. No, 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 but what did you read? What is your actual um, proposal? Hand over here is taking oh, stack. Shit. First oh, on stack oh, is oh, Carlos. Oh, Carlos. Carlos. Uh, Diamond Dave wants to be on the No, no, it's just I'm totally out of my laptop, so there's no now that we seem to have done I've this, got another, uh, uh, I think I've got that, another backup uh, battery. a proposal to automatically remerge uh, with Occupy San Francisco is not a good idea. Uh, I think that if a remergence happens, uh, it could only happen within a very short period of time. A tremendous amount of energy and work is going to go into Occupy Bay Area United, and I don't want to see that energy and work squandered. Uh, in a, um, um, you know, in a uh, re-emergence, uh, an automatic re-emergence that is not fully uh, uh, discussed uh, within the GA process of Occupy Bay Area United. Anna, Next on staff. Uh, next on staff. I don't, I don't mind there being uh, a time limit on the re-emergence. We can always rejoin, redo a vote for that anyways. One thing I want to say was that I was under the impression that the nonviolent thing is already uh, there for Occupied San Francisco. It was my impression, you know, and it says a nonviolent community right on our front page of our website, um, is that the person who was blocking was the one trying to change things. We were not trying to change things to make Occupy SF nonviolent. The person blocking was trying to change us to move us away from that. That is my impression. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Direct response? Yeah, that point is disputed by some people, part of the origin of the problem. Thank you, Peter. And uh, point of information, I, I'm not sure if this came across, but there were really, I think, the second largest issue was the modified consensus issue. Okay, um, next, Kiwan. Um, I, I think the question of whether this group is separate from Occupy SF is very complicated because Occupy SF GA is not the Occupy is not Occupy SF. The GA is not all of Occupy SF, and there are a lot of groups associated with Occupy SF right now, such as Direct Action, uh, Outreach, and other groups that are doing great work. Um, so I think um, any proposal to consider whether this group is separate from um, OSF should take that into consideration. The GA, is, the GA is not the Occupy SF movement. We should keep that distinct. David? Which David? Oh, so I think oh. maybe we're not being creative enough in our thinking right now. I would like to make a proposal that well, we it stand. becomes a semi-autonomous group until Occupy itself uh, specifically uh, states categorically a non-violent uh, stand. So, so that we don't have to split off with our brothers completely. We can form our own autonomous group, and when that happens and we're agreeable, we can then uh, go ahead and join back in. And that, um, I believe my understanding is that the working groups have the option of changing over to Occupy Bay Area United and working under the rubric of Occupy Bay Area United or continuing with Occupy SF or participating in both. Um, and my understanding is that the General Assembly has always been the decision-making 
body or occupy SF. Uh, what's that? Yes, uh, I don't know if this is directly relevant to someone or someone's technique, if it isn't. Uh, one thing, uh, I mean, I generally support the concept of nonviolent direct action, but one of the things you might want to be careful of is how you define uh, nonviolent without getting into all those uh, ideological details about it. Uh, what I'm speaking to about is that, uh, and this is something you may want to take care of later, I'm not sure, uh, but what I'm speaking about is someone may call it violent, like if you have to break a lock uh, to, to gain access, or if you have to secure a building that's been vacant for like five or ten years. So in the proposal that I and some other people tried to pass at Occupy Oakland, we, we tried to get past a proposal which we called, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember what it was, um, action, something anyway. like action proposals, um, agreements on action proposals. And so this can be looked up online, just put agreements on action proposals in my name, Joseph Anderson, and it goes into some of the, the non-ideological things that you may want to consider when you call yourself non-violent. Otherwise, uh, you know, city hall or someone can say that if you have an Occupy encampment and, you know, you've matted the grass or something, they can call that violence. So when you do this, you may want to, you know, just make sure you consider how you do it and at least define in non-ideological terms, in practical terms, what you mean by violence and non-violence. So the model that you might want to consider is just online proposal on action agreements and put Occupy Oakland or my name, Joseph Anderson. Thank you. Just, just, a, uh, no, just a clarification. When uh, at Thursday night's uh, opening GA, we did pass a mission statement of nonviolent direct action, but we did not pass a blanket proposal against all forms of violence at all times. That was the understanding for those of us who were there was it was not a blanket proposal against all forms of violence at all future times. Okay, next year, Rachel. Yeah, I, I am. I'm, I'm not even sure if the topic now is, is the name or the split. I just want us all to consider that um, over seven months we've done a lot of work. Our Facebook site has 17,000 uh, friends on it. Um, you know, I just we now outreach just printed 1,500 buttons. I know it's only stuff, but there's you know it, it's a name we've been using it. I would really like there, there are reasons to keep it. Also, I'm a lifelong San Franciscan. And there's an Occupy Oakland, there's an Occupy everywhere else. I want to occupy my city. So, that's all. Yeah. Next up, process. back is Diamond Dave. Yo. Yo. Well, just that. Yo, brothers and sisters. You guys are be my family. And that's going to continue to be. It's kind of hard to uh, be, uh, wherever the action is, get people's faces here because well, people keep walking in front of me. I'll do my best, uh, though. I'm going to smell a sweet. I'm going to be there holding on to my principles of non-violent direct action. So wherever it's happening, there we're going to be. I look at you and I see family. How many people feel the same way right here? And I also go back. I'm the oldest guy here, as usual. And I can remember the 50s when the anti-communist thing was going and and uh, radical groups and liberal groups and so on and uh, this whole that communist thing where people are thrown out where, where, where they thrown out because they could they could prove their non-communist credentials or because they had been in the party at one time and so on all that could happen you re are you really going to tell me that the people sitting in this crowd who are if there's a GA going on will not be allowed to participate in their crowd because they're occupying us uh, and not occupy the area that doesn't make much sense to me I believe we're going to continue with family. Time's up. Thank you, brother. Do you hear me? Well, let's say, let's say I hear you, brother. Why say your time's up? Get out of here. That just irritates the hell out of me. I'm going to speak, brother, and my elder. Nobody else was saying what I was saying. Just for clarification, do we say that people can move to whatever GA they want to go to? The proposal is about the conditions on reunification. Does that make sense? That the proposal is about the conditions for reunification. It has been made clear from the discussion that we have had uh, for uh, the first hour of GA 
about why people came here. And so the thing is, there's people here. And so if they would like to reunify, how would we do that? David? David? We're reunified right now. Let's just keep it rolling. Nobody says you have to leave. You're not on the clock. I'm not on the clock. Next on staff, David. David's on Echo, uh, a lot of Occupy SF takes place in a lot of different spaces in San Francisco. We just wanted to ask if this body wanted to invite people from those different spaces, which includes Occupy Vernal, Occupy SF State, Occupy CCSF, Occupy Housing, Occupy SF Action Council. Uh, there's about a dozen of Occupy Park that percent. participate in Action Council. But to actually, this, to be perfectly blunt, the Occupy SFGA has not been huge, and most of organized Occupy organizing in San Francisco has taken part through our other Occupy spaces and our other Occupy working groups. So there is the potential to actually have an Occupy General Assembly that actually pulls the whole city together. Family reunion! And, and I would say that. I don't know who's on the agenda, but the one missing piece, I think why the GA hasn't quite pulled people together is having ground rules and respect. Uh, thank you for that. Um, that those are uh, issues we definitely want to discuss. Um, next, next on stack is Lisa. Lisa? Oh. Hey, um, I would like to see Occupy Bay Area United and Occupy SF merge. I think that this is kind of like a workaround to get those ground rules into OSF for modified consensus. And I think that's a smart move and I see it though. Oh gosh, wow. Brian? Brian is on staff. Where is Brian? Yeah, you know, I'd have to agree. Uh, one thing I kind of... It's tough for me. I, I agree with Rachel in the sense that, I mean, I've been here part of Occupy SF since the, pretty much since the inception as well. And for us to have to change because of four or five people and to have to change what we're doing because of just a few people, to me seems kind of absurd. But uh, I'm wondering how it is, and I, I agree with David in the sense that we need to let everyone know. So I think it's going to be hard to be in one or the other. I think it's more change over and it's also going to be part of Occupy Bay Area. We need to let everyone else know and the rest of the Bay Area that we're changing and that it's we're not going back. It's one or the other. I think it's one or the other. And so you have to make that choice. But it concerns me that we're leaving and we're allowing the one percent or a few people to make to dictate for us that we have to be they need to be, not us. Uh, we, we have about uh, six or seven people still on stack. So if anyone would like to get on stack who's not on stack, please let us know right now because we're going to close stack. So let Anna know right now. Anyone else for stack? Okay, we're going to close stack. Uh, next on stack is Bell. Bell. Sure. I've heard the, the term respect. From the time that I got consensus to be legal counsel, that was the first thing I brought up. The first thing. Now, how is censorship? How is taking the passwords and, and controlling the website? All right, well, I gotta how is cut off the live stream for a second and put some new batteries I have on. Not been so I'll be right back. That I say once again with David, he's right. It started.